Hey everybody, so we're back with our 21 day premium cleanse challenge. Yes, you are in the home stretch. This is phase three, where we talk about heavy metals and digital detox. So what you will learn in this lesson are the dangers of heavy metals, how to use magnetic cleansers, digital detox tips, and then putting it all together. You wanna to make sure that you know exactly how to do all of this now as we go along, right? So. First of all, you have to understand that heavy metals are everywhere. Mercury, aluminum, lead is causing everything from mental confusion, irritability, fatigue, weight gain, digestive issues, high blood pressure. It's a lot that's going on. And where are they found? Like where are these heavy metals coming from? Uh, everywhere from your TV to paints, custom jewelry, I know, right? Electronics, your makeup, batteries, ceramics, uh, it is really known mostly uh, with the amalgam fillings in your teeth. Those people who have cancer, I know, have always been concerned about that. And for sure, that is one of the big places mercury is found, but it is also everywhere else. And it has a neurotoxic effect, meaning that it's affecting your nervous system, which causes all these issues in your hormone producing glands. So it's quite serious. It is everywhere. And I want you guys to know what to do as we're moving along with your cleanse. So magnetic cleansers are easy to use. And it's so like, just, you, you just can't believe it's like, why are we not learning more about this? Well, here you are, you're going to learn. So magnetic cleansers basically are your clay and your charcoal, right? So what they both do is they attract the molecules that are, causing the problem. So any kind of molecule, because remember, for example, uh, mercury is released through a gas. And so those gas molecules are attracted by the activated charcoal, right? And as it's activated uh, charcoal, because it has a constituent in there called carbon, it has the ability to attract these heavy metals and then flush them out through the cellular system and then out through your elimination organs most especially when you sweat. So see how that sweating comes around again. Same thing with clay, it works very similar. Clay is a little bit stronger, a uh, little more uh, magnetic, so you say, so we, shall we say, and gets the uh, toxins a little bit more, but um, let's go through them both so you understand how to use them. So clay detoxifies your liver. It cleanses throughout your whole body. It removes heavy metals, removes chemo for those who have cancer. Uh, radiation effects and improves digestion. So the, uh, the clay we're talking about is bentonite clay and you can get this at the health food store. And the clay, what we're talking about is the same thing that we just said, it's a magnetizer and it detoxifies and attracts the heavy metals and flushes them out through your system, okay? Now, how do you do that? The, the program with the clay the clay detox basics is this. You take one teaspoon, eight, eight ounces of water, and you mix it up. It gets a little bit lumpy, but you mix it up. Best to take it in the morning because in the morning is uh, usually when you're more swollen or you have more, uh, from sleeping all night, you have more toxins built up in your kidney area, liver, all that. So it's very important to take it first thing in the morning. Follow with warm water. Okay, so I already know that you guys are gonna ask, well, I'm drinking lemon water, when do I take the clay? So you're not taking this every single day, okay? You're, you're going to be doing your lemon water regularly. When you don't do your lemon water and you're just doing the clay or the charcoal, that's when you do it. You do not have to take your lemon water when you're taking the clay, okay? Now, we're back to this point. Drink on, uh, on, on your empty stomach or one hour before meals no supplements. And the reason is because it is a magnetizer, it's going to take um, the supplements and uh, anything that you're taking and it just, it's, it basically magnetizes it and flushes it out at the same time. So don't take it near your supplements, wait one to two hours before or after supplements. Okay, now, if you're on medications, and like I said, if you're on supplements, if you're on medications, don't do clay internally. In other words, don't take that formula I just said because it will attract and, and magnetize the medication and the supplement. So what you wanna do is do only the clay bath, put in one to two cups in your bath and that's it. 
You cannot take it internally if you're on any medication. If you are taking your supplements, which everybody is at some, some level, right? You wait two hours. You could wait one hour, yes, but two hours to be safe. And that way, um, the clade's doing its job, the supplements are doing their job, and they're not canceling each other out. We don't want that. Now, charcoal, the benefits of activated charcoal is it alleviates gas and bloating. So like if after you just eat a meal and you're getting a little bit of gassy bloatiness, go ahead and take some charcoal and that'll take care of it. Uh, it detoxes mold. Mold is a big issue uh, with people with uh, respiratory issues and charcoal is excellent for that. Uh, it's also an emerging de emergency detoxifier for food poisoning. So anytime, uh, and gosh, it's getting to be a big problem everywhere in the world, to have some charcoal on hand, it never goes bad, but keep it in your house. You could have it for uh, anybody who has any kind of food poisoning it works well with. And it's a great digestive cleanser, again, because it's uh, absorbing anything and everything that doesn't belong in your system and flushes it out. So how do you take it? Uh, yeah, it's kind of like black sludge, that's for sure. Uh, you drink one tablespoon in water, so you mix it up vigorously. You can start out with a teaspoon if you want to, but it's it, there's no flavor to it, just like clay. It's just a little bit on the sludgy side, and then you take it three times a day for three days, and that's it. So in this 21-day program, you could do that or the clay, and you're not having to worry about either one. So let me just back up here a second. So choose one or the other. We're going to put it all together at the end of this class. However, I just want you to understand, do three days. You don't need to take your lemon water. Take it um, one or the other. Do not do both. Do either the clay or the charcoal, not both. Okay, I just wanted to make that clear. All right, so let's get into the digital detox. Um, this is a thermographic image of somebody who um, had no no exposure to the phone. So if someone's holding a cell phone to their ear, this is typically what it looks like. So blue is cooling, yellow, maybe a little bit of inflammation going on, green is all good. But when you see red, that is definitely an inflammatory condition. And this is uh, after a 15 minute phone call, the red was still all in this area. This is uh, thermography, which picks up heat sensitive areas. Uh, I have friends who are functional medicine doctors and they have done thermography and seen it themselves as well. I have seen it many, many times in their office. So this is a very real thing. So the worst thing for uh, you as you're going through a cleanse to think, oh, I'm just doing the food and the herbs and I'm good to go. It's like, no, these are things that add up as well and you need to be aware of it and start working on it. So guys, those of you who have all this... Um, belt with all this stuff on you is like horrible. The, the most famous story is of a man who had liver cancer. His name was Karuno. And on his deathbed, he made me promise to bring this up every time I taught this. So here's my promise being kept. Because what he told me, and I certainly have seen this many times, is that when men keep their, all their stuff on their belt, what area is this on? This is the right side where the liver is. And Karuno had cancer uh, many years ago and he got rid of it, but then he started a project where he wanted to build a clinic in Spain. When he was in Spain, he had the cell phone in his right side, on his pocket constantly, and he ended up having uh, the um, cancer come back the liver cancer came back and he ended up passing away because he knew that that was the issue. So do not wear the phone on the right side. It is not necessary. Keep it away from your body. Women, you have the, uh, the phone on your, uh, in your bra, bad place to keep it. Not a good idea. Okay. Don't keep it there. It is not safe. It has been known to cause uh, cancer cells to form there, and we don't want you to have that issue. So men, here's the deal for a digital detox. No laptops on your lap, no phones on your belt, no electric shaver. Women, don't carry that phone in your bra, and no underwire bra, because the underwire actually acts like an antenna and causes problems there. So the solution is to turn off your computer, your TV at night. Do not keep the, the, anything uh, electronic in your bedroom. 
Never, never have anything in your bedroom at all for a good night's sleep. The electromagnetic frequencies cause problems and we don't want that to happen. So let's put it all together. Okay, we, we got a lot of little stuff going on here, but I want to make sure that you know what you do for the next uh, 21 day program, right? In phase two and phase three. So first of all, you're going to drink your kidney tea. You're going to have five to six cups a day for one week. Then you're going to have clay or charcoal. Okay, so clay, you would have one cup daily for one week. And then your charcoal, three cups daily, one week. Everything else stays the same except the lemon water. Lemon water will not be necessary during that time. Digital detox, choose one and like forever. So meaning don't keep your phone on your body or get it out of your bedroom. Just keep working on it until it's really out of your life and not an issue in your in your um in your lifestyle okay so here we go putting it all together your daily therapies number one you're going to do your sweat therapy or your detox bath so we talked about the saunas but you could do your detox bath 10 to 30 minutes three times a week if you're going to do the detox bath same thing 10 to 30 minutes three times a week number two you're going to do your hydrotherapy you're going to do that 15 minutes three times a week Number three, you're going to do your salt scrub five minutes, three times a week. You're going to do your dry skin brush, number four, for five minutes daily or rebounding, 10 to 30 minutes daily or lymph massage, 30 to 60 minutes weekly. So that number four is all for your lymphatic stuff, right? So basically in the weekend, your Friday, Saturday, Sunday would be a good time to do a lot of this stuff. But if you could incorporate it more, all the better. Okay. How will you know when you've had enough? First of all, you're going to have regular bowel movements. You're going to have good energy. You're going to sleep well. Your skin, hair, nails have a healthy glow. You're feeling positive about life. No aches, no pains. Everything is cool, right? That's really um, how you're going to know. And remember, stay balanced emotionally, spiritually, mentally. That's always a part of the daily thing. So to stay on track, we're going to be in the private face group as always and talking there we're going to have a good support team if you need a buddy we could buddy you up with somebody and like this gal here she i thought she was so cute you could tell she's on vacation and just hanging out it's taking care of you that's really what it's all about you're going to take care of you every single day one way or another do what it takes to take care of you so you could live the life you're meant to live okay guys Catch you later and make sure you ask me your questions so I could keep you on track as we go through this. Take care.